and there is a lot to talk about in the weather department today and you can see from some of the video coming out of Florida into the newsroom as the storm made landfall just before eight this morning as a category three storm. Let's bring in meteorologist Miles Henderson. He's been watching Hurricane Idalia and her possible path. Good afternoon, Miles. Good afternoon. Yeah, the storm continues to move from Florida now into Georgia with that center of circulation. It's a category one hurricane as of the latest update, obviously weakening now that's interacting with the land. It'll continue drifting generally to the north and east and moving from Georgia into South Carolina today. And then we'll take a little bit more of an easterly turn, likely dodging just south of Hatteras tomorrow on Thursday. So it's going to be closest to us tomorrow. Bye. Impacts fall off from the system. So a little bit of a closer look here with the rain. You can see that rain already covering a big chunk of the area from Georgia to South Carolina. That's going to head up into North Carolina tonight for Thursday. This is early morning. You can already see some of that rain spreading in up towards northeastern North Carolina. Let's fast forward to about eight o'clock tomorrow morning. Very soggy picture across the Albemarle and the Outer Banks. But notice as you go to the north and west, that rain gets quite a bit lighter and that's a little bit of a sign of the pattern we're going to see less rain to the north, more rain to the south. So here's what I'm thinking south of the Albemarle Sound. I think we could see four to six inches of rainfall. That's a lot of rain. Two to four from the Albemarle to the northern Outer Banks, maybe one to two there right along the state line. So south side just barely into the Carolina and then less than an inch as you go north. So a lot of our northern spots are not going to see a whole lot of rain out of this. But as you head south, especially into North Carolina, that's where we'll have the risk for some flooding due to all this rainfall. Let's talk about the wind. Winds are pretty light for today, but they'll start to ramp up overnight into tomorrow morning. This is 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, looking at sustained winds over 20 miles per hour across Hampton Roads. Those sustained winds could reach over 40 miles per hour, especially as you head down the Outer Banks. Winds will stay strong throughout the day on Thursday, even Friday. Here's Friday around midday. We're still looking at winds 10 to 20 miles per hour with higher gusts. And notice the direction. That's going to be key. That northeast wind is going to push some of this water up against the coastline, up into our tributaries, and it's going to lead to some tidal flooding. So watch out for that a little bit tonight. High, tonight's high tide, but not too bad as we go into Thursday, Thursday morning around 10 a.m., 10 p.m., and then 11 a.m. We could see some of that minor level tidal flooding even through Hampton Roads as you get down into North Carolina could deal with a bit of storm surge, looking at one to three feet of storm surge for the Outer Banks. Outside of right now, things are pretty quiet. We're seeing a nice mix of sun and clouds. We'll see a few scattered showers and storms pop up this afternoon to early evening, but then that rain from our tropical moisture works in as we go overnight into Thursday morning. There's 5 a.m. Look at that heavy rain across the Albemarle, much lighter as you travel to the north up towards the Chesapeake Bay. There's those northeast winds starting to ramp up. 7 a.m. still soggy across the Albemarle and Outer Banks. A lot of that rain will start to move out as we go into the afternoon Thursday and then we'll begin clearing out from there. Big improvement starting on Friday. So some scattered showers and storms this afternoon, but rain and wind for tomorrow. Temperatures capped in the 70s, obviously with all that rain and wind out there. We could see wind gusts of 40 plus miles per hour, 50 plus on the Outer Banks. Clearing skies for Friday, but still windy. Those winds will be strong on Friday as well. Big improvements by the weekend. We'll see a lot more sunshine and another warm up back to near 90 early next week.